Got the interior all ripped out. Got the hip. What up, though, people? Welcome back to Easy's Rebuilds. I'm Easy E. Yeah, I see behind me, we've got the Donation Flooded Hyundai Sonata behind me. We're going to be ripping out the interior. We already got the battery disconnected because the seats do have airbags in them. And we, we will reconnect the battery after the interior is put all back together. But we'll be going around showing you the inside of this interior real quick before we start gunning her on out because she's full of mold. Thank you. And here we go. Before I put y'all in full head cam, the interior is smelly. Cause you gotta watch the last video, it's dirty. We had to get her up and running first. There's some mold right there, all up in there. Usually, that's where you're gonna find it at, up under the seat, wherever it is. It ain't that much mold. But we got to rip the carpet out, shampoo everything. I don't know if you really see anything up under that one. See this pushed all the way to the back. But the seats are dirty because they got wet. Yeah, I see all that. So we got to shampoo these seats. Got some mold here and there. In the front, over in the corner, over there. I want to try to do something with the center console. Hope I can take the one out the parts car and switch them over because this don't even latch no more. Well, we got to get the seats out front and back. So the back ones are dirty too. Seat belts seem to be okay. They didn't get wet. She don't smell as bad as when we first got her. But she's still a little smelly. Get her all cleaned up. Like I said, we got to get the seats shampooed. The carpet pulled out. Power washed. Yeah, we usually power wash the, the carpeting. Let her dry with the fans blowing on her in the garage. We're going to use an, a bristle or hoover. Self, with the self-cleaning hose, spotless carpet and upholstery cleaner that we picked up from Amazon. And to take these seats out, you need a 14 millimeter socket. So, y'all know what time it is, let's get started.
quite windy out here so y'all can see i got the front seat it's out and the back seats so you guys you can see a little bit of more of that mode i was talking about all on the side of the seats my sis lets me lets me some chains some black and mild wrappers a lot of ashes but i think this this can be cleaned up that if it can't we can always remove the carpet out of that one and put it in this one that other carpet over there has candy stuck to it that's why i'm not inter interested in removing that carpet but i'd have to figure out how to remove this center console and that seat bed over there got a little bit of mold on there so i'll be using my mold and mildew cleaner on that one and to get that all cleaned up other than that she's looking good so let me get back to work So I'm back, and this is why we always remove the
carpet from a flood car because you want to get all the water out and plus you want to clean the carpets but y'all see there's water still in the car car smelling better now since we moved the carpet don't got that musty smell but we got a lot of cleanup to do a lot of rust retarding to do gotta get the rest of this water out i think i'm gonna take some of these these from the parts car because they're full of water these side pieces i won't be able to do nothing with this piece but wring it out because you have to really take the whole dash apart to get up in there to get that whole piece to go across the whole thing i think that's just a noise damp dampener I say we got lots of water in the car. The carpet's still wet. Got to get that all cleaned up anyway. Or should I just use the one out the parts car? I can use these out the parts cars because, like I said, they soaking wet. But I think I like that one better. It just got to be cleaned up because one of the parts car has candy stuck to it and I just don't feel like pulling all the candy off and it has a little bit of mold in that car anyway all cars have a little bit I think I'm just gonna try power washing this one and see how it comes out in a couple of days after it dry but first I'm about to clean I to clean up all this whoo have to get all this cleaned up all this water. Then I move on to cleaning that. I get all that trash dumped out of it. But this is a day in the of, in the life of Easy's rebuilds. When it comes to these flood cars, I like having a donor car for extra parts just in case I run into a problem. But y'all know the baby Ron from the last video. Still got a little bit of body work to do. Like I said, this video, I'm just trying to get the interior ripped out so I can get it clean. So at least the car won't smell like mold and mildew, whatever that funky smell was. And I will be swapping out the center consoles. Because that's the center console from that car. And the other part over there I got to clean. I'm not going to be using that one. Be using. Oh, I didn't know what I did with it. Oh, it's over here. Be using this one after I clean it. Because the chrome a little bit better on this one. I was going to vinyl wrap it. But I'm just going to clean it up. Get all these chains out. And clean it up as good as I can. Because it is in better condition. Than my sister's. Because I don't know what's going on here. But her, see her port's all rusted from the flood, so I can't even use those anyway. That's why I take the one out of the parts car. I'm going to take this off. And put it on to the other one. I still can use that. So, I'm going to continue on working. Catch y'all back in a few.
And that's how we clean the carpets that's been in floods. Power wash them with some disinfectant. Then let them air dry with a fan. I'm gonna put a fan in here later to blow in there. And it take like two, two, two or three days for it to completely dry. It'd be ready by next weekend to throw back in her. And hopefully I have all the seats ready. The interior is dry. As y'all can see, I use some two-in-one rust reform that I always use to coat the panels. I still got to clean the headliner best I can. Get the interior rest, interior cleaned up, all the little panels, get everything put back together. I took the carp, I took the upholstery off the rear seat, gonna put that in the washer and get that all clean, cleaned up. Still gotta get some of the interior pieces cleaned up. Like the center console, get the pieces swapped over that I'm gonna need. Still gotta clean the, the front seats. So let's see how this go. It's hot in this garage. And I went over these seats like 10 times. It'd, be, it'd probably have been faster if I would just power wash the seats like other YouTubers do. But I didn't want all the water, worst case scenario, I would have to power wash the seats. You get all that grime out. It's still a little grime left where I can't get to. But these seats look 10 times better than what they were. I've got my sister was a smoker, so I got some cigarette burns or cigar burns. There's no biggie. But now he's got to do the back bent. Well, not the bench, the backs. But it's only a little bit, little bit to do on those. It's just the bottoms. But it is what it is. Just trying to get all these stains out these seats. I was using a turtle wax power out upholstery cleaner. And I was using oxy clean total interior carpet and upholstery cleaner with the hoover deep clean and neutralize just trying my best to get these seats clean because uh this is what we do gotta get this car put back together gotta get some paint for the body work and for the bumper like i said this video Get the interior cleaned up. So if you would, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we're doing. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. Share this video on your social media with your friends and family co-workers. And give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But I'm about to continue working. Well, I guess we're going to call this a wrap. It's getting late. 
but the seats look 10 times better i can go over this one a little bit more right here in this middle and right there along the bolster that would you call it but the passenger seat mm, on camera look i still look like i got a stain i can go over it one more time after i get them in the car or before they dry or i can just hit them with the power washer that's going to be quicker but i hit these with the power washer these right up in here hit these with the power washer that sucked all the water out of them might do that with those if they don't look that good when come out come out a couple days later i don't know well we ain't i ain't doing nothing just a little touching up here a little touching up there Got the interior all ripped out. Got the headliner clean. The sun visors are clean. I had forgot my sister was a smoker. So every time I cleaned this spot, they leave a yellow line. So I had to clean the whole headliner with simple green. Probably go over it one more time. But I simple green everything. I didn't think y'all wanted to see that. So next, we have to wait for the interior to dry to put the interior back in. Whew. Because it's been a long day. You guys don't understand. It takes longer than 30 minutes to make this video. It take hours and hours. I started this video at 10 o'clock this morning. And it's going on 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Just for me to pull out the interior, interior of a car and clean clean and clean but I need to just pull out this interior I pulled out the interior of this one too off camera in between video in between shooting this video of that car so I know what to take out and not break anything and I need that center council to go on my sister's car because it's a lot better than the one that was in my sister's car. So, I had to figure out how to take the center console out. And we did, the way y'all seen in the time lapse. Now I gotta take that piece off and put it on the other one that came out that car that I cleaned all up. But that's gonna be it. These rebuilds just keep on going. We keep on going, we ain't stopping, we ain't going nowhere. Tell your friends, tell your family. And with all that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we're doing over here. Share this video on your social media with your friends, family, and co-workers if you would. It'd be a, truly appreciated. And if you, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I release a new video. We also have merch at teespring.com, not like this. And we also take cash app donations, all links in the description area below. Go follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And I guess, oh, and don't forget, we take donations of vehicles, just like the ones you might see on my, on my other videos that we still have and haven't finished. We be getting back to those videos, being back to work on those cars eventually. And with all that, stay tuned and stay blessed, people. Peace.